Evening's the best time for catching shrimp. Tanvit Ho's shrimp can grow as big as 30 centimetres. Unlike many shrimp farmers in Vietnam, he doesn't use chemical additives or antibiotics. I have a contract to sell my organic shrimp to a major shrimp factory. Its buyers are going to inspect my aquaculture and make sure it meets the standards. If I pass, then I can sell my shrimp to them directly. And they'll pay me 10% more than what I currently earn. He and his family have been earning their living by shrimp farming for 25 years. Tan Viet Ho has four children and 13 grandchildren. They eat together most evenings. Early in the morning, Tan checks his nets again and finds another nine kilos worth of shrimp. I'm very pleased with this catch. At this rate, it won't be long before I can build a new house and pay for my grandchildren's education. <laughs> Black tiger shrimps are the most lucrative variety, worth about 10 euros a kilo. The main markets are Europe and the US, where demand for organic produce is growing. A kilo of organic shrimp retails for up to 30 euros in European supermarkets. At a nearby shrimp farm, we visit a mangrove reforestation project. Mangroves are valuable biotopes. But in the past, many shrimp farmers destroyed mangroves in their aquacultures, with a view to boosting productivity. There's a close relationship between mangroves and aquaculture, especially shrimp. Mangroves provide a good living and breeding environment and food for sea creatures. In hot seasons, mangroves help reduce the temperature of the water. Mangrove trees also help protect coastlines. Tudi B. Nguyen is project manager with the Mangroves and Market Scheme. The region has been suffering severe and constant soil erosion. Since 1993, we've lost 700 meters, 30 meters each year. Up to 40 percent of the South Vietnamese region could end up flooded in the next few decades. Over the past 20 years, this region has been experiencing severe changes to the environment. This includes unusual typhoons and floods and other natural disasters from the Asia-Pacific region. The rising sea levels have also a great impact on the livelihoods of the local people here. The people here need to take action to protect their environment. The Dutch development organization SNV is teaching shrimp farmers how to plant mangroves. These workshops are funded by the International Climate Initiative. Today they're learning about water quality. Vital for healthy shrimps. The shrimp farmers are investing a lot of their time but it's worth their while. After joining the program, our productivity has been rising significantly. Before joining the organic shrimp farming program, we earned 200 million BND per year. And this year, after two months, we already earned 100 million BND. Around 50% of Vietnamese shrimp production is located in the Cao Mao region. 
Over a billion euros worth of shrimp was exported from here last year. The country's biggest shrimp factory buys the harvest of aquacultures. In the long run, though, the factory is unwilling to keep paying an extra 10% for organic shrimp. It's important that farmers and government reduce their expectations. It is difficult for us to pay 10% extra. Farmers and government should reduce their expectations from 10 to 5 percent. This is an important factor in expanding the sector. For the time being, only 1 percent of shrimp production qualifies for organic certification. These shrimp are destined for Canada. 400,000 people in the region work in aquacultures. Today, the shrimp farmers are picking up free shrimp larvae, financed by the project. They and Tan Viet Ho will be releasing them into the water, close to the mangroves. It will take them five months to grow into black tiger shrimp. The project helped me a lot. My wish is to receive continued support to make our lives and the lives of our neighbours better. More farmers should join the project. The SNV project runs until mid-2016. By then, another 1,300 shrimp farmers will have learned how to integrate their farms into the mangrove ecosystems.